After my obstetrics residency, I went on to do a fellowship in high-risk obstetrics to take care of pregnant women with different medical disorders. And I encountered two pregnant women diagnosed with cancer who were advised to terminate their pregnancies. And I realized that their oncologist had not met a pregnant patient before, and their obstetrician had not pet, met a cancer patient before. And I realized there needed to be an expert in the field of both of these specialties to help the oncologist deal with the pregnancy to help the obstetrician deal with the cancer and to help these women remain healthy enough to have a healthy child and to be there to care for their family. Pregnant women come to me and asking what is maybe safe to be treated in pregnancy. The last thing I want a pregnant woman to do is deny herself treatment because she's worried that it's safe for the baby. I keep a registry of pregnant women diagnosed with cancer and keep a record of how they were treated, how they were diagnosed, and I look at their children long term on a yearly basis to see how they're developing. And I have the ability to share with pregnant patients diagnosed with cancer who feel they may be the only pregnant woman ever diagnosed with cancer, that there are almost 400 women enrolled in the registry who have been diagnosed and treated for cancer during pregnancy. And if we can show that the children are developing normally despite receiving chemotherapy during pregnancy, then the pregnant patient diagnosed with cancer will have that option and not feel the need to sacrifice her own treatment for the safety of her child. There's nothing more gratifying to me than telling a pregnant patient with cancer she doesn't have to terminate her pregnancy. And not only that, but she can be safely treated for her cancer and be around and healthy to care for her child. I would like a pregnant woman to know that she can access the expertise we have here at Cooper for treating cancer and pregnancy while remaining with her own obstetrician and oncologist she feels most comfortable with. I have often consulted with physicians not only in the region, but in the world about safely treating cancer during pregnancy. At times it's difficult to specialize in cancer in pregnancy. Just when I think it's too much, I will walk into my office and see this wall of women who were brave enough to take care of themselves and to receive cancer treatment and live long enough to have their children and take care of that child as well as other children they may have. And these women inspire me every day to continue doing what we're doing and following these children so that I will never have a pregnant patient say, I will sacrifice my own treatment in order not to expose my child.